when i go to the company i start uh, by writing down the task what i have to do today you can understand why the robot is moving right so that is important you should understand the motion all the logical things are important try to focus on your communication skills because they will help you in interacting with the how my day as a robotic software engineer looks like so let's get into it so robotic software engineer is not only to do the software stuff but it is also to see the sensors the hardware stuff the designing and all those things i'm saying this because you should understand the basics of them we at the end of the day we are programming robots right so we should be able to handle the hardware the sensors and also we should understand the basics of it i'm not saying that you should know every aspect in detail in detail is good but if you are not able to understand the electronics very well but understand up to the level where you can understand why the robot is moving right so that is important you should understand the motion all the logical things are important in order to program the robot okay so this was the basic and then you should know about the programming languages okay so how my day looks like so coming back to that so uh, when i go to the company i start uh, by writing down the task what i have to do today so i follow that way so th that is my way and then uh, by seeing that particular tasks i start doing it one by one so my working is about robot operating system i work on ros projects uh, because in our company we work on that so i start with the ros part like if i have to tweak the parameters if i have to write new nodes if i have to uh, create launch files if i have to make a new controller for the motor or else uh, change the behavior of the robot integrate uh, new parameters new planners or else uh, is there any problem with the localization so i have to make different different trials for the robot so uh, is there any problem with the networking so all these things come under my particular role as a robotic software engineer so complete software stack i have to handle the complete software stack so that is uh, my role uh, so the complete building to the testing taking the trial and doing the validation part so all the things come under me so uh, this is my day like how it looks like so uh, also one thing is regarding like uh, while doing this uh, like uh, as it is a small startup we have to figure out on our own so it depends from company to company okay if your company is big then it might be like you are only a path planning engineer or else you are only into navigation you are only into slam so you are specialist okay so i am not a specialist at a particular domain but my work is uh, at a wide range okay so at the same time i am also learning i am not an expert but i am trying to learn and also i implement so that is how uh, i do the things and then uh, coming to the part where like is ros important or not so basically my working is on ros but uh, all the companies don't use ros it depends from company to company some company uh, feels that there is no need of ros so they do in the traditional way so that is also important so if that's the case that's not a comp that's not a problem you can go for that so uh, after uh, this particular like thing after doing the validation we repeat the cycle okay day by day like if there is any problem or not so i also handle the electronics part sometimes i also uh, look into the designs as well so in a startup when you work in a startup you have to look into all the things the best part about uh, it is like you get to learn a lot of things from different people around you and at the same time you are able to understand what are the things happening inside the robot you understand the complete robot very well okay so that's the thing i do and in my opinion my day is kind of good because i enjoy the work that is important at the end of the day like if you are not able to enjoy your work uh, that is not going to help you okay so that's the thing i like do like uh, from the technical aspect but non technical aspect is also important you uh, try to focus on your communication skills because they will help you in interacting with the uh, team members and communicate the work properly so that is also important so if i conclude my day 
so it is all about like doing the navigation stuff also interacting with the other team members as well sometimes so it's it's fun working in the startup like uh, you are you will not get bored while working because you are able to do the thing which you like so that's the thing okay and sometimes also uh, if you are bored you will be able to do some uh, funny things as well you can talk with the other team members and you can exchange new ideas learn from them and if you are not able to learn you can just sometimes take a break and chill okay so that's the thing okay and also the major point here is that uh, my company is also support you they help me a lot uh, in the like work and also they are pretty much flexible so it gives me open mindedness in the working so that that is also important working environment matters a lot so yeah that's the thing i wanted to share so if you are looking into the robotic software engineering roles you have to work upon your skills first and it will depend on the company only like how the things go but uh, yeah wish you all the best if you are applying for the job or else you are looking forward to get into this particular domain but this was my experience if you need any extra information let me know in the comments uh, yeah so this was from my side till then grow learn and explore together